Hello dear students, in this video we are going to derive an expression for total energy of an electron in the nth orbit of hydrogen atom. Let us suppose that an electron is revolving around the nucleus, okay. Charge of the nucleus let it be plus Z e, where Z stands for atomic number and one electron say having mass m e is uh, revolving around the nucleus in the anticlockwise direction. Say the velocity of the electron is v and the radius of the electron orbit let it be r. Now for the electron to move in the circular orbit we know that electrostatic force of attraction that is acting in this direction electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to centripetal force. If the electrostatic force of attraction is more then what happens electron will finally fall into the nucleus. If the centrifugal reaction is more then what happens electron should fly off. So, what is the condition? The condition is electrostatic force of attraction should be equal to centripetal force. Okay. So, this is the condition for the electron to revolve around the nucleus in circular orbit. Now, so we have to derive equation for total energy. Total energy means we have to calculate kinetic energy also, potential energy also, then we have to add them. First what we will do? We will uh, equate electrostatic force of attraction and uh, centripetal force. So, we will take a new page. Now, uh, say what is electrostatic force of attraction? So, that is 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into charge of the nucleus is plus a d into charge of the electron is E divided by R square that is, is equal to centripetal force. Centripetal force equal to m v square by R, m v square divided by R. So, here 1 R and 1 R gets cancelled and this R I will keep it here on RHS. So, I will get an equation m v square r is equal to z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught. Okay. I will write this as equation number 1, equation number 1. Now, okay, from this equation can I uh, write an equation for kinetic energy? To write equation for kinetic energy, okay, I do not have to move this r to uh, RHS what I can directly do is I will multiply I will bring this R here and multiply by half to both sides of the equation. So, what happens half into okay, m v square is equal to this R is here okay, half into z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught R. So, what is this half m v square? Half m v square means kinetic energy. So, I got an equation for kinetic energy. Kinetic energy equal to z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r. Now, I have to derive an equation for potential energy then I should add. So, what is potential energy? Potential energy general equation is u is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q 1 q 2 divided by r. So, what happens? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught into q 1 means charge of the nucleus that is plus z e q 2 means charge of the electron that is minus e okay, divided by r this is the expression for potential energy. So, what is potential energy u is equal to u is equal to minus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. Now, how to find out total energy? Total energy total energy is equal to sum of kinetic energy plus potential energy. So, what happens z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r minus potential energy or plus potential energy, but potential energy is minus minus z e square divided by 4 pi epsilon naught r. So, Okay, what happens total energy will be equal to minus z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r. But the problem is here in this equation there is no n means we need to write value of energies for n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2 because we know that for at different orbits electron will have different energies. See z uh, is constant okay, z for hydrogen it is 1 for every atom z value is fixed, e value is fixed, 8 pi epsilon naught everything is constant. Then what we will do? We will substitute the value for r 
in terms of n then i'll get an equation for total energy in terms of n so what we got is total energy okay is equal to z e square divided by 8 pi minus z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r so this was our equation you see minus z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught r we will substitute for r what is r radius of the electron in the nth orbit r n is equal to n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m z e square we will substitute it here so what happens total energy in the nth orbit equal to minus z e square divided by 8 pi epsilon naught into this thing into r means what n square h square epsilon naught divided by pi m z e square or that can go up in multiplied by pi m z e square ok. So, here we will do some simplification energy in the nth orbit is equal to minus z square ok uh, minus z square uh, e power 4 minus z square e power 4 m into pi ok. So, ok this pi and pi gets cancelled. So, this pi is not there here ok divided by divided by n square h square epsilon naught square 8 ok 8 n square h square epsilon naught square ok we will write it in a proper way. So, energy in the nth orbit is equal to minus ok z square by n square I will write out ok z square by n square ok into into what is left m e power 4 m e power 4 divided by 8 h square epsilon naught square 8 h square epsilon naught square. If you substitute the value for all these numbers because m is mass of electron we know the value of mass of electron ok e is charge of electron h is Planck's constant epsilon naught is a constant we know the values if we substitute all the values and if we convert that into electron volts we are going to get ok e n is equal to minus z square by n square into 13.6 electron volt ok this is the equation the general equation for board examination point of view you can you can stop here or you can stop here and then you substitute z is equal to 1 for an hydrogen atom is z is equal to 1 you stop here this is it.